Six Cents with Nikki Six. It's Jen and Nikki Six at Six Cents. We're here with Ivan from Five Finger Death Punch. Hi. Well, hello. They hate when I do that. They get so mad at me. Hi. They're like, don't sing intros to interviews. I'm like, okay. Really? Hello. I know, right? <laughs> that at was for you, Lori. Key. I know. Well, I'm trying at least. <laughs> um, so welcome to Download Festival. This is my first. Is this oh, your really? first? No, this is our third. Third. Okay. When was the last time? Uh, two years ago. That's cool. Yeah. And this we, is we crazy. We actually played with the crew on that one. So. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a really good time. It's one of my, I look forward to this every time we play it. Just, I mean, it's an ocean of people. Yeah. You know, there's an eclectic of, of different musicians. I get to run into old friends and whatnot. So. Yeah. I was does talking to. my breath to, smoke? You're standing really far back. No, I'll, okay, I'll stand here. You cool? I was talking to a friend of mine that does um, like just cr- crew work. And he said going to download is like the first day of school all over again. Because oh, you just see everybody time. you know. Every time. And it's, uh, it's just a bunch of fun. Well, a lot of people think that, you know, because you're in a band, you, you automatically hang out with all these other people. And, yeah. And schedules conflict and whatnot. So you really don't get to see a whole bunch of them. So this is really fun. Are you going to stay the whole time? What does this situation look like for you guys? I mean, do you get a chance to hang out at these at all? Uh, no, tonight's early night, and then tomorrow we fly back to uh, Europe, uh, and we finish our run there, and then we go to, um, I think, Moscow. I'd have to look. I'm in yeah. that stage nowadays yeah, yeah, yeah. where it's like, there you go. Do you know go. what today is? Because I don't. Friday? The... 12th? Is it? It is! <laughs> Son of a bitch! I nailed it! Yes! Okay, so who are you out with now? Because you're you're headed out with Papa Roach. You're not out with them yet, right? No, we, we head out with them. We start up with them in the States, and we come back to Europe with them. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? <laughs> See how that works? First day of school. Um, yeah, exactly. But uh, no, right now we're out with Judas Priest. That's right. Out of all bands, you know, and Rob Halford's like my father. Like, yeah. I love him. I yeah. look up to him. So it's, uh, it's an honor and a privilege to be out with those guys. I'm sweating profusely right now. It's really I know. Why? Here. Do you need me to blow on you? Okay. Talk about bad breath, my Do God! I need you you to would blow vomit. Me? What? Blow on your face. Oh, yeah. Oh no. I'm yeah. Cool. No. Okay. The other one, though. We'll, t- you know. Um, okay. That got weird. So, kind of. You're going out with Papa Roach. You're going out with in this moment. Yes. Uh, who's the other person? I'm the other sorry? band. The other band. The third one. Uh, well, no, it's uh, us, Papa Roach, and in this moment, we haven't decided yet. I thought there um, was a, a third. There's, there's there, going to be though. There is. There okay. is. But uh, we haven't announced it yet. That show's gonna be incredible. That's just the states. Okay, wait. Jacoby's. No, no, we're bringing Papa Roach over here as well. Okay. We're doing a cool, cool headlining thing. And Jacoby's one of my favorite, you know, performers of all time. His energy is just amazing. So. Well, so is yours. I. Thank you. Now you guys have what I like to call a significant look about you. Okay. It's. I would notice you if I was in the grocery store walking past you. I'd go, Oh yeah. That must be rough because I never get noticed in the grocery store. But oh. Just kidding. But um. How do you keep up with something like that? I know that might sound like an odd question, but in all reality, like, you, I, I could never picture any of the guys in the band being Joe Schmo. You know what I mean? Even when you're at home hanging out, you still have this cool, unique, you know, bright look to you, shall I say. Well, thanks. It stands out, you know? Well, I'm a it's farm fun. boy. I live in, like, I live in the backwoods of Colorado. Yeah. So everybody in my town I've grown up with, and they know me, so... I really don't have to deal with a whole bunch of that. The rest of the guys, they live in Vegas, so oh. I'm assuming they're used to it. <laughs> no, yeah, they're, exactly. They're fine. For me, they it's They blend. Like, People yeah. stand out to them. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, the new album. Uh, Got your six. August 28th? Yes, it is. So that is set in stone? Oh, most definitely. Okay, yeah, good. I'm excited, too. I mean, I know everybody's supposed to gloat about their own stuff, but this is our best material yet. Swear to God. I love when people say that. When you no. believe in the bottom, you know, the bottom of your soul is screaming, this is my favorite. This is our best work. And it comes out, though. Yeah, I mean, even in this interview or on stage or whatever, it's cool to see an artist be so excited about their own you stuff. You know, and I'm a fan of music, first and foremost. So, you know, I can appreciate... That, you know, I don't play instruments. So when I walked into the studio and we did our listening party... Yeah. And I heard the entire CD front to back, I was just flabbergasted. I mean, I really was. I was going, we did this. For a sixth album, I mean, most people didn't think we'd make a second one. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's really nice to be in that position. What can we expect on this one? A lot of F-bombs. Perfect. Is that cool? It's like Christmas. Yeah. Or Christmas first in August. day of school. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, or June 12th. What was writing like for you guys on this one? It sucked. Did it? No. Loved it? Was it was awesome. Do you guys all bring something to the, to the table? Well, see, it, we got a really unique way of writing, and I don't know how most musicians do it, but... Um, for, again, I don't play instruments, so what the guys do is they'll write the song and they'll send it to me. Okay. So when you guys hear the CD, mm-hmm. that's exactly how I got it. 
without the lyrics and the melodies and whatnot. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a great method. I don't have to get in their hair. They don't I've never heard of that before. It's true. That's amazing. Yeah. They don't want to be next to me. I'm like a monster in a cage. So. What do you like? Like when you get to the studio and you're recording, is it a is it a cage situation for real? I hate the studio. Are you sweating? Are you angry? Are you yelling? Are I'm you sweating right now? <laughs> but in the studio, are you? Oh, absolutely. Is I mean, it a release though? You know, sometimes it is. Other times, it's a it's a headache because you can't just make inspiration up. Yeah. You know, it's like you can't just walk in and, and shit out a song, so right. to speak. So for me, it's a little more difficult, and there's there's methods to it, and it, it'd take a whole hour for me to explain it, but. Let's just say that I caused myself a lot of self-conflicted drama to make sure I get in that headspace. So, like I said, the guys don't want to be around me when I'm in there. If but I would think at the end of the day, day, at the end of the album, essentially, you walked away and you were like, whew. Fucking it. You know? I mean, you just went to therapy for how, how long it took to, to make Four the months. whole thing. Right. Yeah, exactly. Did you, feel, did you feel that weight lifted off of you when you were finished? I did Especially until I realized... Especially if you have to go to that headspace. Well, and that's the other part of it, though. It's like... We were in the middle of a tour, and then we had to go out and tour again. We had radio festivals to do and everything else. So well, that's a hard back and forth. It is. I haven't seen. I just bought a new house five months ago. First house I've ever owned in my. How life. many times have you slept in your own bed in your new house? I've been there three times in the last four months. True story. Wow. So I miss my dog. Oh, what kind of dog Hi, you Ruby. have? Oh my God! What kind of dog? She's is a it? pit bull. Yes. That's my baby. That's awesome. Yeah. And she just runs wherever? No, outside? I'm lucky enough that my family takes care of her while I'm gone. I also. Well, no, I know that. I'm saying when you're home, like out oh, in the yeah. middle of oh, everything. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I love it. I got five acres. That's she goes great. Nuts. I own a goat, too. So that's kind of. I just tweeted that I wanted a goat. What kind of a goat? Are you serious? I'm not kidding. I have what? a fainting goat. No, you don't. I swear to God. Do you have any videos of it? I do, and I'll show you when we're done with this interview. Yes. His name's Loki. No, it's not. Yes, it is. He's a badass. Oh, my and God. And all you have to do is go like this. And he, he falls faints. over and he goes, and he opens one eye to make sure you're still there. And gets <laughs> up and pretty cool. I can't wait to see it. He only cost me a hundred bucks. Can you believe that? Are you kidding me? I swear to you. I got him from some farmer down the street. You guys are just trading goats out in Colorado? That's what we do. Man. It's that or bad sex. Oh, wait. That comes hand in hand. Hey. <laughs> all right. So the album is out August 28th. Yep. Um, I assume you're going to be coming through California at some point. Oh, most definitely. In the next couple months. Will you oh, come yeah. by the studio and hang out for a little bit? I would love to, man. That'll be cool. I listen to you guys constantly. So, yeah. yeah. It'll be fun. All right, cool. Just do me a favor. Tell Nikki I said hello, and uh, you guys take care of yourselves. And I will. We'll see you on the other side. Awesome. Give Ivan from Five Finger Death Punch, thank you so much for hanging out. Nikki Six and Jen on The Sixth Sense.